Let's give a proof of the following fact in group theory. Let G be a group, let A and B be elements of the group, let's show that the order of A times B, or A star B if you want, is the same as the order of B times A. Now, if G was commutative, this would be trivial because A times B is B times A, and of course those two elements are the same and they have the same order. But what if G is not commutative? How do we know that the order of A times B is the same as the order of B times A? I'm going to do a proof. If you want to try it on your own, stop the video here and do it, and then uh, you can watch the proof. Let G be a group and let A and B be elements of the group. What I'm going to do is prove the following equivalence, and then we will prove the theorem. What I'm going to prove first is that if there is a power m such that a times b to the nth power is the identity, that's if and only if b times a to that same power m is the identity. Let me show you how you prove this, uh, this equivalence. Suppose that a times b to the nth power is the identity for some m. Then what I can do is multiply on the left on both sides of that equation by b and on the right of that equation on both sides by b inverse to get the following a times b to the mth times b times the inverse and e on times b times b inverse. But because e is identity, that is just b times b inverse and b times its inverse is identity. So what I get is that this is the identity. Now this I can expand as b times a times b, a times b, a times b, m times times b inverse. And if I rearrange this using the associative property, which I have because I am working in a group, this is b times a, b times a, etc. m times, and then there is a b there left over times b times the b inverse. But b times b inverse is again the identity, and that is just m times b to the a, b times a, and therefore what I get is b times a to the nth power is the identity, and I've proved that uh, equivalence. Now that I have that equivalence, I can do the following. A times B to its order, the order of A times B, that's the identity, by the equivalence that tells me that B times A to the order of A times B is the identity, and therefore the order of B times A is at most that, the order of A times B. Similarly, B times A to its order is E, and therefore by the equivalence in the opposite direction, that tells me that the order, doing the same thing I did here, that the order of A times B is less or equal to the order of B times A. And now I have both uh, inequalities that uh, the order of B times A is less or equal to the order of A times B, and the order of A times B is less or equal to the order of B times A, and therefore they have to be exactly the same, which is what I wanted to prove.